Hi, I'm Matt Mulvaney from Explorer. This video is part of a series of how-to guides aimed at forms developers. In this demonstration, I'll be showing you an Oracle Forms application which contains a single data block based on a single table. Um, I'll be using the enter query and execute query modes supplying wildcard searches to filter my records. I'll then be showing you an application express application where we have an interactive report based on the same table. I'll be showing you how to filter your records uh, and then showing you all the features of interactive reports which includes charts, pivot reports, downloading and saving your data. Okay, you're currently viewing an Oracle form. The Oracle form has one data block and that data block is based on the EMP table. So you can have seen all 14 rows from the EMP table. So we have different columns for EMPNO, ename, job, manager, high date and so on. So I'm not next going to filter this table based on certain input criteria. So in my first example I will filter on job. So we have different jobs of salesman, manager, analyst, president and so on. So I'd like to see all employees who have the job of salesman. So I would click on query, enter query and in the first record type salesman and then execute and that brings me back all the records. I can next um, filter on, for example, an e-name. So I can bring back someone called Smith. That's brought back the record I was looking for. Um, I can also query on another column, so the Empner. And that brings back one record. In the next example, I'll be using a wildcard search. So I could type in M percent. So that should bring me back everybody whose name starts with an M. If I execute that, it brings back Martin and Miller. You can also use the wildcard search for a single character. So if I just remove that H and use the underscore, that will substitute for a single character. Execute. And it brings me back my one record. In Application Express, I have a page with a single region on, and that region is based on the EMP table. So you can really see in all records. I can create new records, or I can modify any existing records using this pencil icon here. From here, I can make any modifications, or I can delete a record. So with searching and applying filters in an interactive report, you can use this search bar here. So I can use salesman. So when I type in here it finds the word salesman in any of the columns in the, in the interactive report. Let's remove that. I can search for the ID number or I can search in a specific column. So for example ename I want to search for Smith. In the filter option under the Actions button, you can make some more advanced searches. So, for example, Manager is null, and apply that will return me my president. Also, on the interactive report, you're seeing that Manager and Depth Snow just return numbers. This can be quickly changed to bring back the descriptions for the Manager e-name and for the department name. So if I edit the page and find the column that I want to change, so manager, change that to plain text, list of values, bring me back managers, and the same for depth now. We'll change the column type and pick the list of values. So now running the page, it's brought back the manager name and the department name. Also under the actions button, you can change the rows per page, so you can change that to minimize the amount of rows per page and then you would use the pagination option to navigate bet between all your records. Under the format, you can apply a sort, 
In the same way, you can apply a sort if I was to click on Empno and I want to see the number descending there. Under Format, you can use Control Break as well. So I may choose to Control Break by the department. So we can see all employees per department. We can also apply a aggregate. So we'd like to see um, the average salary per department. Apply that. And the average salary has come through there. We can also choose to highlight some rows based on certain criteria. So if I was to highlight the high earners I could say send the background color uh, orange where the salary is greater or equal to 5000. So by applying that, King has turned an orange color. I can further customize the report by using compute columns. So in the compute column I would like to find the monthly salary then we'll choose salary divided by 12. Just going to add a trunk to that. Okay, so when I apply that, I have a monthly salary column. And this column appears just like all the other columns. So, for example, I can sort on it, or I could choose to hide it. Hidden columns can be reactivated under the Select Columns option where I could decide to position it in a certain place. So I'll position it just under the salary. That appears there. Other options I can do. If I was to format, I can add a chart. So let's have a bar chart and I would like to see salary and I would like to see some of all the salaries per department. So let's apply that. And we have a chart there, our three departments, research, sales and accounting. Now that's appeared as a, a separate report option here. We can go back to our chart here and we can go back to the report. If we look at the format options again, um, we can choose a group by report. So, for example, we would like to group by uh, the same thing, department, and we'd like to see average um, salary. Apply that. We've got a, now a third option here. So, Depno here, average salary there. Let's go back to our main data. Um, the last thing is pivot reports. So I'm going to pivot the data. Uh, I would like to see a department as a column and then as a row I would like to see um, job. Um, functions, I would like to see the average salary per job. And this gives us a fourth option here which is view pivot, so we're viewing a pivot report. So down the left hand side we're seeing jobs, for example analyst, salesman, president, and departments here, accounting, research, sales. Uh, so take one department as an example, research. We can see the average salary for an analyst is £3,000, uh, or the average salary for a manager is 2975 Okay, let's just go back to the main data here and look at the actions button again uh, we can flash back the report so we can view the data as of X amount of minutes ago so for example 10 minutes ago or we can save the report so now we're happy with this report we've got our high earners in orange uh, we've got a uh, sub, uh, control break on department 
No. We can add a different report. So if we save the report as the default report settings, we'll have an alternative report. So we'll call it high earners and chart. So if we apply that, we've got two report options. Our primary report, which we'll need to reset back to the default settings. There we go. And the highness and chart report. So we can navigate between our different options there. Back on the, op on the actions button, we can view the help. So this is quite handy for users. Uh, and this help guide explains how to use interactive reports. And we can also download. So under my configuration, I have these um, report formats. Um, choose CSV to show you how this looks. Open up a CSV. We'll open up in um, in Excel on my machine. Let's wait for this to load, and there I can see my data. Okay, let's close that. Uh, other options are PDF. So when I click on PDF, it renders the data minus the formatting as a PDF document. And from there, I will should be able to save or print or zoom in on my data, for example. Back to the report. Uh, HTML is a different option. If I click HTML, um, I've also got my data in the HTML page. But I can also use the search facility here to search for different records. Okay, so um, these options, um, are the majority of them are enabled by default, although you can configure them um, in the options. So let's have a look at those. And you can add different authorization schemes to them, so different reports, different options that are available. Um, okay, so if we click on attributes under our EMP region, which is the interactive report region, we can customize things, so the different types of pagination that we'd like to see, when no data found message, um, we can decide to include or exclude the search bar, and if I do that, different options appear and disappear. Uh, under the actions button, so which um, values we'd like to show or hide. So for example, I would not like to see the flashback. Um, the, and I can turn, for example, pivot off. So flashback and pivot, they've been turned off. Um, and I also wouldn't like them to email the report. So make some simple changes. Run the page. And now I no longer have the facility to flashback or pivot. Those options have gone. Um, and I also no longer am able to download to email. So that option has been removed. So with interactive reports in Apex, uh, it's extremely powerful the, for the users. They can customize the interactive report how they want and they can change and save uh, reports how they would like, they can format the data, and they can share it. So it's very powerful, uh, very uh, fast uh, and modern interface. In conclusion, Oracle Forms provides a basic search and filter option, whereas in comparison, Apex can do the same, plus much, much more. For more information, including our blog articles, visit www.explorer-development.uk.com